the looming crisis of teacher shortages. And I use that word purposefully. I was speaking with a well-resourced suburban superintendent a few days ago, and he said, you know, teacher shortages used to be a problem because they happen to other people. Yeah. Now they're a crisis because they're happening to me. <laughs> <laughs> and I think he's exactly right because what he was saying was for many years we had gaps and shortages in some places in Virginia. Uh, today I can tell you we have gaps and shortages in every place in Virginia. We do a, a survey each October simply asking local divisions, there are 132 school divisions in Virginia, and we say, how many funded positions do you have that are unfilled as of this time? Last October, there were 1,000 in Virginia, which means there were 1,000 uh, long-term substitutes serving in classrooms uh, teaching children. What we know is the problem is not equitably distributed, and that's what my colleague in the suburban area was saying, all of a sudden, we're seeing gaps and shortages everywhere, but it is much more pronounced in our highly challenged, less resourced divisions. 